Gearwalk, the game that apparently also makes the commentary creepy. Hey look, birds. I hate this thing. I hate this thing so damn much. Yep. So, um, it's a, uh, hanging thing, hanging by its head. And it's shaped like the Holdra. Yep. And you have to wind its head neck up yeah. to get it to go. Like some screwed up music box. Oh wait, it is some screwed up music box. Come Write this down. Up. Left. Right. right. Left. Right. 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 Left. Left. That ah! freak. Can we go now? I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Is still in there? Ah! Uh. Bye now. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Gotta, Gotta go. go. All right, read that off to me. Left, right, left, right, right, yeah. right, left, left. And thus, the door did open. And there was much rejoicing. Nah, sure. <laughs> Into the Holdress tree we go. Actually, there's not much rejoicing, because this is kind of an annoying puzzle. Especially if you happen to be tone deaf. Yeah, okay, so. We might actually not be able to make this puzzle the first time, but we'll try. So you hear a tone, and we've got to go down the path that matches the tone. The perfect tone. And we succeeded that time. No. Some people would try a rage quish. I am trying to hear the tones. Sorry, this is a point of no commentary due to sound puzzle. Yes, yes. I think it's this one. Ah, oh, we screwed oh, it up. And we start over again. And we have to start over again. Son of a... Biscuit. Son of a biscuit. tree just bounced. <sighs> Keep thinking I see her face. I 
think we're on the last step too when we failed it. I don't know, I think there might have been one after. Okay. This is it. That one. Hey, there she is. Yay. You guess the key now, right? You're nice. Nice lady. Creepy. Uh, oh god. Oh, oh, she drank us. She drank us dry. <laughs> like one of those screwed up pictures and that scary stories to tell in the dark book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freak. <sighs> <laughs> Yay, the key. Now we get the key, right? Now we get the key. And it turned to water. Thanks a lot. Batch. Scare us half to death and then turn our key into water. Alright. Thanks a lot. So, where do we go to water? To the stream, of course. And there's an encyclopedia entry we need to read. Do we need to, want to read it before we get there? Okay, we'll read it. We'll, we'll read it when we get to the river. Okay. Pardon me. Did not mean to vouch. We'll read it when we get to the river. If I can figure out how to get to the river. Take me to the river. <laughs> Drop me oh. in the water. Okay. So we're here at the river. We'll read our encyclopedia about the brook horse. Yay! Yay. <clears throat> get it? Because oh, never mind. Back of Hostin. <laughs> Sweden is a country that has a lot of lakes, rivers, streams, and brooks, and Swedish folklore is filled with strange creatures residing in the dark waters. The brook horse was a pale horse who lived in creeks or lakes, luring children to ride on its back. The brook horse's spine grew for every rider that it lured on top of its back. The brook horse was satisfied and left in the water whereupon the children drowned. Dick. Mm -hmm. Brookhorse had a lot in common with the Nix, a handsome young fiddler who lured young girls down into the water, and according to some, they were one and the same. It's likely that the Brookhorse was made up to keep children from playing too close to the water. One of the more unusual descriptions come from the story told in the north of Dalarna. The young man on his way home from his work at a charcoal kiln, he decided to wash up in a nearby creek. The man finds a strange stone formed like a small child in the water. He picks it up. Man notices that he's not alone. He's being watched by a horse walking on two legs. The horse stretches out a human hand to the man, who gets frightened and runs home to a shack he shares with his fellow workers. He tells the tale to his comrades, who laugh at him and call him a drunken fool. He shows him the stone that now looks quite ordinary. The man curses and goes to bed. When the workers wake up the following morning, they find the man dead in his bed, his lungs filled with water, and the stone nowhere to be seen. Of course, it was always closely associated with death. Not always in a negative way. For instance, in the sad folk tale, Lil Nils, the brook horse is the one who finally leaves Lil Nils' soul home and thus ends his long series of misfortunes. Well, he didn't sound so bad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's creepy because it also looks dead. It's got those white eyes. Yeah. Look at my uh, horse. My horse is amazing. And it's wearing a suit. Yes, I do want that. Yes. And... What is this? Apparently you want the souls of babies. Should we be okay with this? Probably not. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, well, let's read about... Oh, look, this thing's bloody. Lovely. <laughs> the Mylingen. Hey everybody, this is Corona Joel. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe link, I got it right above me. And uh, also hit some of those like buttons down there in that bottom corner. That would be great. 
Also, if you really like what you're watching and like to see more, we've got the next part of the video that's directly over here. And over in this direction somewhere is some other of my work that uh, I think you might enjoy. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.